Welcome back to Tuesdays with Corey, and uh, yeah, let's get right into this. We're inching ever so closely down to the wire. I was this close, this close to buying my ticket. I'm gonna try to ride on United. If I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to go in at least some class, some style, some comfort. I want them chairs that go all the way back like this, and just like, ah. Hand me my hot towel, me lady. Yeah, so like, I've been doing a little research, trying to find out the best airline that I can take that is both luxurious and affordable, right? I I've looked at United, I've looked at Delta. I've checked American I Airlines, but I don't think they have any routes here. I tried Japan Airlines, ANA, all Nippon Airlines, and stuff like that. I've been looking around, right? So far, the best route that I've found that's affordable is United. Now, of course, United's economy is not that cheap, okay? From here, to LA on economy is around roughly $1,300 give or take that same route if I try to upgrade my class to business or first it's roughly about 1700 so it's like three to four hundred dollars difference between riding in the back of the you know the back of the plane with the economy or up in front with business or first class so that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking about doing that with that said the route that I'm looking at is uh, it's a mixed class I think that's why it's so cheap the first First leg of it is from here to Japan and that leg is economy I can survive that it's only a four-hour flight it's fine anything longer than that my ass starts to hurt really bad and I gotta stand up and I don't want to be doing that in economy because it's cramped back there and you know you're gonna have to oh, excuse me sorry excuse me excuse, oh, sorry excuse me sorry uh, my, my balls grazed your back there I, I apologize man unless you like it did you like it no oh well anyways I'm sorry no I don't want to be doing that so that's the first leg four-hour flight from here to Japan and then from Japan, it flies all the way nonstop to San Francisco. But this is actually a good thing because I would be riding in United's new Polaris business class thing. It's new. It's 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 a new thing that they're rolling out. What that is is it's now regular. Now it's a chair that folds down into a bed, right? That's awesome. That's what I want. If I'm gonna fly a nine to ten hour flight, I wanna at least you know stretch out, get my little snooze on, enjoy the comforts that is given to me in this luxurious flight that I'm paying for. With a glass of wine or champagne, some of the little caviar, watching my big screen 15 inch TV in the privacy of my own seat, just feel like Ah, I am royalty. You know, I want to feel that way when I'm heading to, to the unknown, basically. I am going at this by myself. Of course, I'll be rooming up with some friends that I know, but I won't have the sort of security blanket with family around. Because I have a lot of family on this island that, you know, if, if need be, we would all support each other. I won't be having it out there. I'll be on my own. So hopefully to help combat the nervousness, I can at least down some alcohol and lay in a bed on a plane when I'm heading out there. So that's that's it and then from San Francisco to LA is a first class flight but it's just like a regular you know the seats first class you know it's, just, it's not real much difference that's the route I'm thinking of taking I, I was about to buy my ticket yesterday but I thought how would I maximize this I'm thinking about like getting a credit card so I can use it on that so I can get build up some points and mileage or whatever so I might as well do that and not have a, a big chunk of my savings being taken out like that still haven't decided what I want to do with my car yet Part of me wants to bring it with me, part of me wants to sell it. Because of money concerns. Homie of mine said that, you know, it's it's kind of pricey over there, cars and stuff, so maybe I should bring it, but I don't know. I'm still debating. Uh, other than that, this video is uh, sort of like, uh, I was thinking about making like a little tips and tricks video. I know I said I was going to do like a Call of Duty thing, but uh, we'll, we'll put that on pause. I want to make a little video that sort of helps people that come here, whether visiting or living or whatever. This is just something that I, I, I always do that I think is like my little secret. It's not really a secret, but this is like my little hidden restaurant gem. It's not a 
secret it's not even a hidden restaurant okay it's out there people will, you can see it to me it's my little secret thing usually on when I don't have to work right when I work I at least get some food there that that's what constitutes my meal you know saves money and stuff but on my days off when I don't have any food in my refrigerator and I don't want to have to cook I always go to this one place to basically stock up on food for that day it's almost like uh, meal prepping you know we do have a couple of those here on the island where you pay a certain amount and they give you a bag full of little you know containers that that'll survive you like five days or a week or whatever it's sort of like that okay but anyways so where I work a price for a burger right a burger and two sides which is usually coleslaw and fries runs you between 12 and 16 dollars right that's just for one burger take that into context when I say for about the same price you can get this three individual meals prices do vary depending on what you get usually the ones in the bowls are usually cheaper the ones in these longer ones are usually more expensive okay but with that said for one burger versus three meals you know the, the balance there it's different now what restaurant am i talking about some may know what it is already but it is tokyo mart it's basically a store that just sells a lot of hot bento pre-packaged lunches right now i think there's only two locations that i know of i'm not too sure you know if there's any other ones out there but there could be one is located in Tamuning near Costuless GPO it's across from IHOP I think that's the main location that's the bigger location the one I I usually go to is located in Aganya in the Aganya shopping center and it's called Tokyo Mart Express it's just this little room a stanchion in the middle that with a hot lamp and all you see is just this row of bento boxes now uh, the thing about this is that they don't constantly roll out new food they basically basically have a set number that they make and then they just try to sell that throughout the whole day and the way they do it is like every so often every hour or every two hours something they'll subtract a dollar from the price so it gets cheaper and cheaper the later through the day it goes to keep that in mind a, a lot of it does go by the time you know it becomes closing time there's almost nothing left so you can get there early and have your pick of whatever it is you want but if you don't you'll start ending up with things that you don't want you know whatever is left over so keep that in mind if you're gonna go here now the reason I go here is one everything is already cooked you don't have to wait you just pick it up go to the register and leave you can buy as many as you want as many as you can afford and the prices are very affordable and it gets more affordable later on through the day the choices are mainly usually Asian inspired dishes very Japanese that's why it's called Tokyo Mart it's a lot of Japanese bento dishes they sell a lot of Japanese snacks a lot of Japanese drinks it's very Japanese themed okay but on certain days I don't know what the schedule is but on certain days I think some of their workers or cooks or whatever are Filipino or Chamorro or something because on certain days they sell things that are not Japanese. They'll sell pepper steak. They'll sell, uh, last time they sold uh, Topsilog. It's a Filipino dish with meat and the, the egg on top or something. They sold that. It, it depends. Uh, honestly, I think it depends on whoever's working and what they feel like cooking and they'll just, they'll just sell it. You know, well, I feel like making adobo today and they have sold adobo. Today I went in, I picked up some stuff and I just want to share with you what I got. And so first off, we got a katsudan. This one's a chicken katsudan. Normally $6.95. It's a very pretty good proportion a lot of rice on the bottom you got your uh, radish here your chicken and there's eggs mixed in with onion but when I went in everything was two dollars off so this is actually four dollars and ninety five cents and I got it right now it's about four fifty I got it in uh, less than an hour ago so I got it around four o'clock still warm still still edible next uh, I haven't really eaten this in a while and I have everyone's recipe is different a place that I used to like eating China walk in a uh, in uh, the Guam premier island which is now closed because they've got a infestation so uh, I don't know but this is mapu tofu I've had I have not tried this one but I saw a guy pick it up like right away so I was like I might as well give it a shot I used to like mapu tofu and GPO when I was working at Cold Stone I would get the mapu tofu a lot but like I said everyone's recipe is different I've tried three different ones and none of them are ever the same so I'm gonna give this one a shot but this also was two dollars off finally there's no real name in it it's just called express special bento 6.95 so they're all the same price they were all 4.95 but i think it's chicken with potatoes 
celery. There's a bay leaf in there, so it might be adobo-ish or, you know, because there's a, there's a liquid. Do you see that liquid there? And rice and ginger. The ones that are more expensive have the more compartments in it. If it's just two compartments, one or two compartments is usually $6.95. If there's one, two, three compartments, it's usually around $8.95. Two more dollars. Those are the bigger bentos. But yeah, all this for about $14, if my math is correct. Same price for one burger. You can get three full meals that'll last you the whole day. And you know, if you want to live on a $14, $15 a day budget, which is $5 a meal, you could, you, you could do worse, all right? You can go to a burger place and load up on like empty calories, or you can get an actual legit meal, which is a bit healthier, I think, in my own opinion. Unfortunately, you don't get a side of fries and you don't get a drink. So the value, it, it all depends on you as to what you think is value. I am not sponsored by Tokyo Mart, even though they might want to. I just wanted to share with you my little, you know, hidden gem trick. If you want to eat on a budget, right, 15 to 20 bucks a day, if you want to go 20 bucks a day, you, you, you can't really beat this price. It's full meals, full meals that's already cooked. You go home, put them in the fridge, then just like reheat it when you're ready and you're good to go. That's a little tidbit, I mean, it's not exactly the cheapest route you can go to, but it's better than fast food, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. We are slowly climbing to 700 subscribers. Thank you so much. As always, love, peace, and chicken grease. Until next time.